Hello humanoids, welcome to Halfling Hobbies, I'm Halfling Hannah, and today we are back in Von Richten's Guide to Ravenloft looking at a cool new feature, Haunted Traps. These are going to be one of your new favorite things, they certainly are one of mine, and today we're going to talk about what they are, how to make them, and I've got five Haunted Trap ideas to get your creativity going. So, here we go! All right, if you're a subscriber, you know the drill. While you're here, you might as well be useful. Down in the comments below, please put your ideas for some really creepy and awesome haunted traps. So first of all, haunted trap, what are they? Well, it's exactly what it sounds like. It is a trap, but it is based in the paranormal and the dark and evil powers, not in physics or in magical abilities. So. What this means is that a rogue's ability to disable a trap does not work against a haunted trap. Great news if you have a super high level rogue in your party. Also, dispel magic does not end the effects of the trap. Only a paladin's channel divinity or casting of the spell protect from good and evil can end the effects of a haunted trap or stop them from happening in the first place. That means that these are actually useful for high level parties. These are traps that you can use at any time and they can be super, super creepy. So how do you make haunted traps? Well, you honestly start with the story. What story do you want to tell? What effect do you want to happen? Do you want your players to be frightened? Do you want them to go just a little bit insane? Uh, whatever it is that you want to happen, start there and then kind of create like a ghost story around it. Then you bind it to an area or to an item, give it either a wisdom or a charisma saving throw and your effect and boom, you have a haunted trap. To make this a little bit easier to understand, here are five of my favorite haunted traps that I've made and used in my own campaign. Number one is the Mirror of Fears. This looks exactly like an ordinary mirror. It's very large and has an ornate frame around it. It can be hung in any house, mansion, in the hallway, or room. When a player walks by this mirror and sees the reflection in it, it is their reflection, but not in the room that they're currently in. This mirror reflects the character enduring their worst fear. For example, if the player has a fear of small, confined, dark spaces, they can see their reflection struggling within a collapsed tunnel, reaching out for them as if for help. They must succeed on a Charisma 14 saving throw or be compelled to reach out and try to help themselves. Once they touch the mirror, they are sucked into it and have to endure and relive their worst fear over and over until released. If they are not released within 10 minutes, then the player must roll a d100 on the short-term madness chart. If they are not released within one hour, then the player must roll on the long-term madness chart. So how does a player get out of this mirror? Well, that's up to the rest of their party. The party must say the correct word in order to allow the player to leave the mirror world. This can be done in a couple of ways. One is that you can write a riddle on some pieces of paper. Tear them up into two, three, even four pieces and hide them around your mansion. The party must find these scraps of paper, enduring lots of dangers, perhaps other traps without their other party member. Put them together, solve the riddle to say the word to release their party member. Or another one of my favorites is to write half of the code on a torn piece of paper. When this paper is put up against the mirror, it reveals the full code. In this case, it is vomit thou, which seems kind of lame, but it's really hard to come up with words that mirror each other. So if you come up with something better, please put it in the comments below because this is the best I could do. And I was at this for like an hour. So maybe go with the riddle one. <laughs> if 
by chance, the barbarian in your party decide, decides it would be a good idea to smash the mirror to try to get the person out, this does not permanently bind them to the mirror. The person can still get out of the mirror if the exit word is set. However, now their reflection can be seen in all reflective surfaces throughout the mansion, banging on the surface asking for help, which is super freaky. Number two, demented doorways. These are the doorways to rooms where especially awful things have happened. These doorways themselves are trapped, and when any creatures go through the doorway, they must make a wisdom saving throw. The lowest wisdom saving throw of the group of creatures that goes through this door falls unconscious. They don't lose any hit points, they just fall unconscious and have a nightmare of the events that happened in that room. If their wisdom saving throw was below 10, then they have to roll a d100 on the short-term madness chart. Number three, dark memories. If you have a story or lore connected to the area that your players are in that you want to give to them, then this is a great option. Anytime players enter a room, ghostly memories apparate and tell a story, almost as if they are reenacting their daily lives. Once this story has ended, everyone in the room must succeed on a Charisma 10 saving throw or be frightened of the room for one minute. Number four, a lost item. This can be an item or a person, but this happens at a specific time. At a specific time, a ghost appears and wails as they search for whatever it is that they have lost. Anyone that can hear the wail must succeed on a DC 14 charisma saving throw or be compelled to also search for the lost item or person. And then number five, nursery rhymes. This also kind of works as a layer effect, but it's still kind of a haunted trap. So you can have a person, child, a ghost child, recite nursery rhymes. These nursery rhymes then have an area of effect based on the rhyme that is said. For example, one, two, buckle my shoe, three, four, shut the door, magically shuts all the doors of the mansion and locks them. Three Blind Mice is the blindness spell, but it affects three random party members. And Counting Crows is the bestow curse. These are the haunted traps that I have created and that I very much enjoy. And I really honestly think this is going to be a big part of my campaigns going forward. They are just so much fun to create and run. Please make sure to leave your ideas in the comments down below. And until next time, my friends, may your game have advantage. Kathleen Hanna here, signing out. <gasps> Would you look at all those sponsors? <gasps> oh my. You know, they're the ones who sponsored this video, so if you don't like it, take it up with them. Okay, bye!